Dr. Tenpenny, we've discovered Rockefeller Foundation documents, perhaps we'll put some up while you're speaking, from 1966-68, saying we need to develop sterilants hidden in vaccines. So basically piggybacking or Trojan horsing. Then we have the report from 85 where they say this is wonderful. We've actually discovered it. We're going into the implementation phase. And then, as you know, the U.N. got caught in the mid-90s in Africa and Asia, uh, India and places with the tetanus shots that really had a sterilant in them. Um, well, not really even a sterilant. It, 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 it caused women to have uh, violent uh, uh, miscarriages in the second, second trimester. I mean, I know you're a doctor. You just focus on the effects of these. But in the final equation, they know what they're doing. And this is more than just profit making. Uh, this is really a medical tyranny from my research. And, and, and I think that's really evidenced uh, by the fact that they, on national news over the weekend, put front men for Merck up on all the major news shows. It was bombarding uh, the, the population, saying not one person's been hurt by Gardasil and issuing a fake $10,000 challenge at Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, uh, who followed Ron Paul's lead and you know, raised the issue to Rick Perry. I mean, that's amazing because all we did was go to the CDC's own report and we had a press release from, from a few months ago. It was 17,000. I was corrected yesterday. It's actually 22,000 now. It's grown in just a few months. And they admitted deaths, Guillain-Barre, all on their own paperwork, which we'll show again in a moment. We just showed the Rockefeller Foundation documents. Uh, I mean, this is bold hoaxing. And, 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 and so clearly they know what they're doing. I, how I always try to explain that to people, Alex, that maybe can't get their head around that, is I always refer to Enron and Arthur Anderson. I mean, who would have ever thought one of the big eight accounting firms would have just completely imploded and gone away? Who would have ever thought that one of the top, like, uh, Fortune 200 companies in this country would have just blown up and gone away, who had tens of thousands of employees? It was the eight or ten rotten apples at the top that knew all along. And I believe, I, it's my personal belief that that's the way it is inside of the vaccine industry and the big when you get big food, big farm, and big oil together that control and own everything, they don't like the population to be where it is. Um, I think that there, there are some issues with that. I also truly believe that the vaccine industry is the bedrock of the entire pharmaceutical industry, the bedrock. That is why they are fighting this so hard. Because if you took out all of those vaccines, which, by the way, there are 330 vaccines in development right now, 96 about to be approved, targeted towards adolescents and adults. So if parents think that who are listening to this say, well, my kids are all grown up, I don't have to worry about that anymore, guess again, they're coming after you. And Did you see the doctor on the news this weekend, one of their uh, pushers? I forget his name, we've got it in the clips, we played it earlier in the week. He said, you could give a baby 10,000 vaccines at once. Yeah, that was Paul Offit, who's, that was a paper that came out in 2003, and I, and I actually wrote a rebuttal to that back in 2003, where he said that you could take 10,000 vaccine antigens all at the same time, and it's like, okay, Paul Offit, roll up your sleeve. Just let's do it to you let's see, and see what happens to your health. But isn't this going to destroy them in the end when it gets so obvious we're now 1 in 36 in South Korea have autism, where you go to a movie theater and maybe 20% of the kids in there are, are you know, I mean, behaving like zombies. I mean, clearly this is an environmental situation. They can't cover it up forever. And as you just alluded to, they have hundreds of vaccines coming down the pipeline that they want to get government to mandate we take. And as I know you said two years ago, over and over again, you said, Alex, people are waking up. They used to just sell this through soft power uh, and uh, trick everybody. Uh, you said they're going to try to force it. And that brings me to one of the final points. As you know, the bill has passed the House and Senate in California, most populous state, 36 million people or whatever it is, 37 million. It's gone to Brown's desk. He's saying he's going to sign it to inject the kids without parental consent. I mean, my God. I want to know where the liability in that is going to be. If 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 a if a twelve year old girl who's in her little girl clutch and they all decide they're going to get the Gardasil vaccine together, and one of them dies, where is the liability in that going to be? Is it going to be with the school nurse, with the school district, with with the governor? Where is the liability going to lie in that?
um, because if they've passed a law saying that these young girls can, can um, and boys can make a decision for their own on vaccines, are they going to say that girls, they can make a decision of their own on some other drug like Ritalin or, or any, any other type of pharmaceutical psychotropic drug? And where is the, where's the liability going to lie? I don't think anybody has addressed that because someone is as large as that state, as we know for sure, as you've already said, there are at least 23,000 VAERS reports that could represent as little as one percent of the actual number of, of reported injuries out there we know that there's at least 32 confirmed deaths and a hundred other deaths that they are now that are they are investigating with the Gardasil vaccine what's going to happen if some of these girls walk into the school nurses area and they get a vaccine and they fall on the floor and have a seizure and die who's responsible nobody's talking about by that. the way uh, th that's another point i've made on the radio and play clip after clip if you just type girl died after Gardasil you get the U.S., you get Canada, you get England, you get Indian newscasts where they inject them in the classrooms and they some and, and girls collapse, have convulsions, and in some cases die of shock within minutes. I mean, this is incredible. How are they? How, th 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 that's my question. How are they so bold? How are they so wild? I mean, how are they just so so brazen when they knew it was killing people in the trials and they still went ahead and had Perry lie and say it was the law. Well, he got caught. It wasn't the law. And so now they've just moved to go ahead and have a law. Alex, think about this for a minute. If you took your two-year-old, your two-year-old child, and you uh, four-postered them on your dining room table, you had four adults hold them down on the table, and you took needle syringes, you took four needles and jabbed them into their thighs, and you injected chemicals, aluminum, formaldehyde, animal cells, human DNA into their legs, and then you went and told your neighbor, and you left the, that child to cry and scream hysterically for hours, and then you told your neighbor, well, yeah, we were just doing a little procedure. How soon would CPS show up at your door and take those kids away? But because it's done in a doctor's office, because somebody has on a white coat and somebody trusts you, we think that this is okay, it's harmless, and it's done if, because it's good for you, it's torture. <laughs> it should not be allowed to be happening anywhere, let alone in a school system where some adolescent gets to make a decision about what's injected in their body. It's a travesty. It really is. Well, I know this. I was a tough kid, and I'd play around in construction zones and have nails go through my foot and you know, break arms and you know, break fingers and was tough and didn't care and wasn't afraid of anything. But I was horrified of shots and would beg and would plead. And would, and I only had a few vaccines in my life. And now I've, it's, it's, it's more than 50 I know they give children. Now they want it to be hundreds and they're setting the precedent to try to give them thousands. Uh, this is just incredible. Now I want to close, uh, doctor, with their ace in the hole. You raised this when I was talking to you during the break before we went live here. And you said their ace in the hole uh, is things like Contagion with Matt Damon and all this. There are so many TV shows, movies about mega death, billions dead, not a question of if but when. You've got to get the shot. Uh, and, and when you learn that this vaccine industry is a $100 billion industry a year or more, you really see that this is product placement, propaganda placement, and that that's the race in the hole is just scaring the daylights out of people. Absolutely. And the, the vision statement of the pharmaceutical industry, which I learned this from a pharmaceutical insider, said that the vision statement of the entire industry is to have every single human on the planet on a minimum of two daily pharmaceutical drugs for their entire life. Well, how better to do that than to start with young children and making them terribly sick and have all sorts of things from asthma, allergies, eczema, ADD, ADHD that you can't really connect. Somebody told me that there was a line from that movie Contagion that said, you know, we need to make this vaccine because if 10 years from now um, we, it's causing autism, nobody will be able to connect the dots. And that's exactly what they're setting up. They want everybody sick because that promotes their widgets. It certainly does, and then they have the treatments in development for things that they know in the trials with lab animals is going to cause in Homo sapien, sapien the diabolical nature, the, the, the weaponization of this. I, I know you've done deep research, but in my film Endgame and just through pure, pure research, trying to discover what the globalists, the Rockefellers, stood for, the Rockefellers, the British royalty, the King of England had to advocate over it, funded Hitler and wanted worldwide eugenics. And it was a medical tyranny that the Nazis first engaged in. Forced inoculation, all of it. 
And that's basically now what's come here. It's just an underground program, and that's why Bayer Pharmaceutical and others that came out in court knowingly shipped out HIV blood. And, hey, it's get rid of the hemophiliacs. We're doing you a favor. This is a cold-blooded group. It's, it, it, from my research, it's much bigger than profit. Have uh, you found the eugenics angle in your research? I have, and I think that it's, uh, you know, what a lot of people say, and I would have to agree, that when, you know, World War II was over, everybody just traded in their uniforms for white coats and, and, uh, and business suits. We, nothing changed. It was life. Things just went on as, as usual. And I do believe that there is definitely a sinister side. And the problem that bothers me the most, Alex, is what's wrong with, with the 800,000 physicians in this country, that they just march to the tomb of the drug companies, that they're not willing to look at any of this information or very little of it. They're not, they don't know what's coming through that needle and being injected into adults and children. And they just absolutely stand by it and take people like me and you and other people who are exposing the truth and tell and, uh, colleagues and other physicians say you're just you're just you're just saying all the wrong things it's just really well, not I'll true. tell you why I mean you're a doctor but correct me if I'm wrong but I've got family that are physicians look they are brought up that you're part of the elite now you know best and then they're kept so busy that they just receive what the American Medical Association says and they the American follow Murder it, Association Alex the system the American so Murder Association they don't want to admit founded by Rockefeller tell them and so they're now committed to it. And that's basically how tyrannies work. And once a tyrant or once a corrupt system gets you to join it, then you will rationalize greater and greater crimes. Uh, well stated. I'm sure that's true. But, but we are seeing more and more medical doctors come out. Not nearly enough. I mean, really, we even even physicians who do integrative medicine like I do here in Cleveland, Ohio. I mean, even the even doctors like that that have a, a practice of holistic medicine, they still are you know sort of a supporter of vaccinations. I mean, they really are. They have really an issue with that. Well, I mean, I want to be clear. Certainly, from the medical history in the four hundred years of vaccination, you can't get some immunity from having some something attenuated or weakened. But then there's the whole issue of, then what does that do to the rest of your immune system? But now, I think they deceive us by even calling these vaccines. These are more uh, nanotech, uh, re-engineered viruses. I mean, now they've got the new classes coming out that re-engineer the brain and attack neurons that would uptake uh, endorphins uh, uh, that, you know... Uh, the fun vax. <laughs> exactly. They're saying, no, don't be depressed anymore. I mean, this is... This is really Buck Rogers type re-engineering of society and they just call it vaccines and they think, well, this is like the polio vaccine. We're saving people. Yeah, saving them with hundreds of millions exposed to cancer viruses. Well, think about all of these girls that we were talking about just a few minutes ago that would get these injections of Gardasil. And, and it, it could be any of the, there's now, kids now get six, 40 doses of 16 different vaccines by the time they start kindergarten. And one of the things that people have to realize when they're listening to this, and it's school season, school just started, and across the country they've been telling people that parents, no, no shots, no school. Well, my answer to that is no shots, no school, not true. Every state except West, West Virginia and Mississippi have have, an, a, have either a philosophical exemption or a medical exemption for you to opt out of your children being inoculated with all of these things. So there, there are a lot of ways that you can stop it. But every one of these vaccines all have horrible potential side effects. There is nothing that can come through a needle and to try to keep you healthy that uh, that you can't do for yourself just by your own diet, exercise, vitamin well, D, vitamin C, and all those things. Well, Doc, that's another example of the hoax. Exactly. They continue exactly to say right. it's the law. You've got to take it. And that's what's so wonderful about Perry being caught. We called him. It came out he didn't have the authority. It wasn't the law. And now he has to apologize. And all the other candidates are against him. That has certainly gotten the, uh, the death emergence of the vaccine makers on the defensive like I've never seen them before. And uh, now, now, what about the other two states? There are still ways to get exemptions there, correct? 
Well, West Virginia and Mississippi really only have a medical exemption, and it's very hard to get. Their state health departments are very adamant about it. In fact, I've even had some parents in Mississippi tell me that the state health department wants them to vaccinate their kids even if they're homeschooling. And so those two states are the only two states that just have a, a, a medical exemption. Most of the time, you can only get that for a particular vaccine for which you've had a reaction. I mean, even if you have an ill child and you say, I don't want them to have the vaccines, the medical doctors, who again, or the problems will say, oh, well, it's because your child is sick. They need the vaccines more than ever because you don't want them to get those vaccine preventable diseases. Well, as a medical doctor, you know, until two years ago, they said never vaccinate a pregnant woman. Now they're saying it's good. Oh, not only are they saying that it's good, Alex, they're talking about flu shots, pertussis vaccines, they're talking about hepatitis B, and they're even potentially talking about giving Gardasil vaccines to pregnant women. Well, well, Dr. Tenpenny, we're going to have to have you back up in the near future to get into all the other attacks that are happening. But the good news is, and, and I think you've basically agreed with me today, the report is the worm is starting to turn, the pendulum is starting to swing, the awakening is here. I believe that's true. I really do. I think that it's really, you know, when I started this 11 years ago, there, there were just a few of us, you know, out in the lone, just really talking about this. I truly believe that tens of millions of people, not only in this country, but around the world, are waking up and they're just saying no. What are the best websites for people to visit to see all the scientific documentation that you've amassed? Um, going to drtenpenny.com, D-R-T-E-N-P-E-N-N-Y, drtenpenny.com, Dr. Tenpenny, that's where um, we're uh, soon to be uh, launching an entire library of all the research that I put together through drtenpenny.com. My clinic in Cleveland is Tenpenny IMC, like Iris Mary Charlie, that's Tenpenny Integrated Medical Center, tenpennyimc.com, we're here in Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm always proud to say that people have come from 39 states and 12 countries to get well and off their drugs. Well, if I ever need your help, I'm definitely coming to you. You are certainly a guardian angel out there. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you so much, Alex. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that's it for InfoWars at Nightly News. Please support the important work she's doing against the eugenicists and against their soft kill program. And please get the DVD presentation, flu and flu vaccines, what's coming through the needle. I know that you know about a lot of this stuff, but your friends, your family, your neighbors don't. If We're we waking them up, up Alex, every day. And get it out to everybody you know, we can stop these people. It's available discounted at InfoWars.com, and your purchase supports InfoWars Nightly News as well. So does your subscription to InfoWars Nightly News. You know, we allow members to share their passcode uh, to a limited number of people. And if we had enough support, we would expand it basically to an unlimited point. But it's funny, people almost don't appreciate something that's completely free. But it is your subscriptions at PrisonPlanet.tv that have made this transmission possible. So I don't want you to be behind me. I want you right beside me. Make no mistake, those of you that are members of PrisonPlanet.tv, you are making all of this possible. So thank you so much for being part of the second American you Revolution. You are absolutely a revolution welcome. Revolution against tyranny worldwide, Forever, what I call 1776 worldwide.